Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Anthazar, but y'all can just call me Anthe. <laughs> That's not a sentence, Anthe. Anthe, if you can't talk, how can you write? I'm freaking out! Why are you, why are you, why are you kissing him? Stop that. No! Oh, it was the program, Anthe! <laughs> So I received some texts from a cousin, hi cuz, <laughs> about writing, and it got me thinking. So let's chat about today's topic. So you want to be a writer. Writing is a wonderful thing. This is to all of the newbie writers, meaning you've never really done any writing. Maybe you've done some poetry secretly in your room or something like that when you were a child, but you haven't done much writing throughout your life. And let me tell you, writing is a wonderful thing. It's a lot of fun. It's great. I personally love writing with all of my heart and soul. It's just, it's like breathing for me. I have to do it. For new writers, there's one thing I would say that you truly need to understand. And that is writing is work. Oh yeah, Anthony, I know. I know it's work. I'm working on my writing and it's going great. Oh, darling, you don't know yet. <laughs> oh, the agony and the pain that is writing. It is a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of pain and a lot of, and a lot of time, but it's so satisfying. Writing is a wonderful work that can bring you so much happiness and satisfaction that you're holding your book in your hand and you're like oh my gosh i did this i wrote this i wrote these words and look they're printed on the page like Whoa. so if you're on fire right now with your writing as a brand new writer please understand that it won't always be like that and that's okay. You will eventually come to something that is hard for you. And the hard part is learning how to overcome those hardships in writing, those hurdles that you have to cross. And when you do that, it's all the more satisfying. As a new writer, whatever you do, never ever give up. Because if you give up, then you won't ever have that satisfying feeling when it comes to your work. There will come a time when you come across a very large, hard brick wall, and you will have to learn how to cross that. Whether you climb it, or you go around it, or you get a hammer and bash through it, <laughs> you will have to find how to get past that for yourself. For newbie writers, let me give you some tips that will help you kind of stay on course and maybe get through some of the hard parts that you may come across in your writing. And I mean, some of these work for veterans too. So if you're new to writing, you might not know about this wonderful tool. It's called Google Docs. You can write in Google Docs on your phone, and then you can log into your account on your computer and have everything that you've written in other places wherever you go. It's a fantastic tool that you should totally check out. It's free, it's, what's not to love about it? I don't actively write my stories in Google Docs though. I actively write them on my computer. But they're great for note taking and they're absolutely great for writing stories. If that's how you wanna write, go for it. That's totally up to you. I also carry notebooks in my purse. <laughs> Lots of notebooks. So I have, I got them at the dollar store or even at Walmart, you can get like a little notebook about this big, they're usually a dollar. Another tip for you newbie writers is to write out of order. I'm not sure how many writers actually write out of order, but for me, I have found that writing in order can just absolutely kill my creativity if I'm not careful. And so for newbie writers, I totally suggest, strongly suggest that you write out of order. If you're feeling inspiration for a scene, but it's later in your story, and you're like, but, but I can't write that because it's not in chronological order. Write the scene, write the stuff that is burning inside of you because that is so valuable. Totally take advantage of that. It doesn't matter if it's out of order, just write. You need to write. 
Another great tip for writing is to write with music. I have learned that a lot of writers don't write with music and I'm like, what? <laughs> I know a lot of people don't like to write to music and I know for some it can kind of confuse them or feel like they're focusing on multiple different things, but oh man, I can't write without music. <laughs> It's like this void of silence that's like, ugh. Mm. Music can drive or halt your inspiration. Get the right music. If the music's not kind of getting you correctly, change to something else. And you might go through a number of things to figure out, oh, this is kind of working. Then, I mean, you might find that nothing works for you and then you need to write in silence. That happens too. Don't forget that that is a resource that can definitely help drive your creativity. On to publishing. You're probably thinking about, ooh, when can I publish my book now? Let's get to that. Okay, first things first. If you don't have a book yet, you, you, you need a book. <laughs> now, okay, I am not a traditionally published author. So I have not gone down that route. So I don't have firsthand experience with that, but I am a traditionally published author. <clears throat> I purchased the cover. I formatted my book. I did the interior. I actually only purchased the front cover because it was cheaper. <laughs> so I ended up doing this in Photoshop with the materials I had and this as well. I do not have firsthand experience with traditional publishing, but I do have firsthand experience with self-publishing, which I will make a video of that eventually. And the whole wonderful long process and all the things you have to think about <laughs> that writers don't think about. But I do know that traditional publishing can involve a lot of rejections and that can be discouraging. I also know that you generally need to get an agent to publish traditionally. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I also know that you generally can't publish a book that you haven't written. I know that there are some where you can just pitch the idea and it works, but for the most of us, especially if you're a new writer, especially if you're a new writer, you need to have the book. You need to have it in your possession. It needs to be written. So if you're a newbie writer and you're excited about publishing, don't even think about it. <laughs> don't even think about it. For now, worry about what you're writing and love it. Because if you don't love it, everybody else will know. <laughs> we will know. If you build it, they will come. So write your book. If you're writing for money, please don't. Now, as I say that, please don't misunderstand that I'm suggesting that you should not receive money for your work. I am saying, do not let that be your focus as you're writing. <laughs> because if that's your focus, you will fail. Don't cripple yourself, please. Money is something that of course we all need. We need to work for sustenance and <laughs> security <laughs> and shelter. Writing is such a creative medium that if you're not enjoying it, it's gonna be very hard for you in the long run. You might be able to sell your novel at one point, but are you gonna be able to write another one if you don't like it? So love what you do. Love what you do and then people will come to you. Also, if you're a newbie writer and you don't think you have time, you have time because whether you're playing Angry Birds or Candy Crush or any other kind of game or you're binge watching Fuller House or Game of Thrones, you totally have time. I know that Amanda Hawking wrote like 12 novels. I don't know the exact number, but it was a lot. While she was at her job, she ended up you know, either quitting her job or something happened and then she started self-publishing those books and now she's a millionaire. So, <laughs> you know, obviously that's not the rest of us. <laughs> but my point is, if you commute on a train, open up Google Docs. 
you have time to write and you can totally do it. You can totally write. I believe in you. I know you can do it. Writing is a passion. It's a passion work. It's something you have to enjoy and love to really push through all of the hardships and all the, the tough writing part. You will learn what writing that you like to do and comes the fastest for you, whether it's first drafting or you edit your work and you love that. The process is endless. It's a constant daily thing of figuring out, okay, what is my style today? <laughs> Cause I don't even know. <laughs> you are a new writer. You are a newbie. The world looks great and grand. Be sure to write because you love it and enjoy it. Please don't do it for the allure of money. Writing is a satisfying work that I am always thrilled that new people get to come and learn and be a part of. You got this. You got this. Keep writing. Keep doing it every day if you can. Use all of the tools, keep learning, look at other author tubers and look at all of their styles and then pick and choose what you want and what you can do. There are tons of resources for you to learn how to write and this applies to fiction and nonfiction. So you can totally write your book. You got this. I believe in you. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye! <laughs>